Google Gemini just launched their brand new Gemini 3 model and this changes everything because now you can build out and use AI agents with Gemini 3. And you could have them check your email. You could have them increase the conversion rate on your website. You could even have them buy Christmas gifts for your family and so much more. And by the end of this video, you're going to know three different ways that you can now build and use AI agents with Gemini 3. Because if you're not using these to automate your work, you're going to get left behind in 2026. Okay. So the first way that you're going to be able to use agents with Gemini 3 is by coming over to Gemini, clicking on tools right here and coming down to either agent or dynamic view. Now, I do want to warn you, this is going to be for ultra subscribers only, but I don't want you to panic because the next way that I'm going to show you of how to use AI agents with Gemini 3 is going to be completely free and you could try it today for free. But I did want to start with this because this is a new advancement and it'll probably go to the other different tiers of Gemini pretty soon. So if we come over here on agent, what you'll be able to notice is we can now get Gemini to do tons of different tasks. For example, I'm going to have this go through my email and and figure out what's a priority. For example, I'm going to say to this, can you please go through my email for the last 30 days and figure out what I am getting invoiced slash charged for? I am trying to cut back on my expenses. Now, this is going to go through and this is going to actually do that. Now, while this does this, I wanted to walk you through what apps and things like that it can actually connect to. But as we can see right here, this is going through, this is going to process all of this. It's going to build out exactly what it's going to do, similar to any other AI agent. If we come over here to the left hand side and we click on settings right here, and then we come into connected apps, you'll be able to see all the different apps that you can connect this to. So you could connect this to GitHub. You could connect this to all of your different Google apps and your Google workspace. You can connect it to YouTube music. You can connect it to OpenStax, and you can also connect it to synth ID, which is actually a way for you to be able to verify whether or not images were made by Google AI or not. Okay, so now we get to see that this is actually going through and this is figuring out what it's going to do. So it's pinpointing financial data, it's outlining the extraction steps, it's formulating the search query, it's constructing the email search, it's finalizing the search, it's developing a refined search method, and now it's going through the concise plan for how this is actually going to do this. So we could see now that it's going through and retrieving it. And then from there, this is going to go through and this is actually going to analyze this and give me a report on where I'm actually spending money that I didn't know. And again, I really want to emphasize that you could get this to do anything across your Gmail, your Google Calendar, your Google Docs, your Google Drive, Google Keep, Google Tests, or just across the internet in general. Like if I wanted to use this in order to find Christmas presents or in order to add a bunch of things to my Amazon cart, it would be able to do it now, which is a pretty huge upgrade for Google Gemini because in the past, they weren't able to do this. Okay, and now this went through and this actually figured out what my spending is on this email. So we could see that I had a one-time expense of $250 from Google. That was because I did upgrade to Google's Ultra Plan. We could see that a price increase was detected with Tela. So this actually increased and it looks like I started a Google Cloud free trial. So it actually told me about an upcoming risk of something that I will potentially get charged with. So then this goes through different topics, goes through different things that I can cut and we could click into here into the sources and actually see all of these direct emails right here and everything that it went through, which is pretty incredible that this is actually able to do this. But again, we could do this with agent and you need an ultra subscription. And this next thing I'm going to share with you, you could do right now for free. And what I'm talking about is actually using Zapier in order to build out agents that have Gemini 3 built into them. So if we come over here into agents on Zapier, you will be able to see right here that you could come in here and you can create a new agent and you could do this in three different ways. The first way that you could do it is on Copilot right here. You literally just describe what you want to automate and this will go through and actually build out the workflow for you. The second thing that you could do is come into these templates right here and see things that they have. For example, they have an SEO optimized article generator where this will actually go through and this can build out articles for you, or they have an outreach agent where this will actually go through and reach out to potential leads for you. Or what you could also do is come over here, click on new agent, click on start from scratch, and you can actually build these out for yourself. So you could come over here, you could choose exactly what you want the trigger to be, and we could see that we could have it happen on demand, on a schedule, it could get triggered by a zap, or it could get triggered by tons of other apps, and we outline the instructions to follow. So as you can see here, this is very similar to building out agents inside of Gemini or inside of Gemini Workflow, but there is one massive upgrade over here. 
If we click on Add Tools, you'll be able to see that you can access more than 8,000 different apps. So this is actually the number one way for you to be able to connect Gemini 3 to more than 8,000 different apps. And what I wanted to show off for you right here is something that I built out because one of the biggest capabilities with Gemini 3 and the biggest upgrade is how it is multimodal. What does that mean? That it's way better at giving you advice. So if we come over here into my agents, I wanted to show you this right here, which is a landing page optimizer. So this is what this does. We can feed a landing page into this. It's then going to go through and extract all the different key elements. It's then going to send that landing page content and all of its analysis to Gemini 3 inside of AI Studio. And it is going to analyze almost a dozen things here. And then from there, this is going to format and present the AI generated feedback in a structured, actionable way. And I wanted to show you how this actually works. But first, I wanted to show you how to actually set this up so that you get Gemini 3 Pro in here. So what you wanna make sure that you do, you're gonna click on this right here. You're gonna click on configure and you need to do a few things. First and foremost, you wanna be using your own Google AI Studio account. Secondly, under API version, you need to set this to be a specific value and then set this to beta. From there, you'll be able to go into the model and you'll be able to select Gemini 3 Pro Preview. If you don't do this, you won't see Gemini 3 actually show up here. So please make sure that you do that. And then from here, you could add in system instructions if you wanted to, files to process if you wanted to, and you should come in here and change the max output tokens. I would just set this to like 100,000, and you could also change all these other features if you wanted to, but personally, I didn't do that. And then from here, what we could do is come over here and preview this. And by the way, if you wanted to use this for yourself, you could at the pinned comment below, for free, I have the template for this. So you can literally just click on it, create a free Zapier account, and you can test this out for yourself or build out your own AI agents with Gemini 3. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over to test agent right here, and we could see that this is going to ask for a website. So I'm gonna come over to contentbuddy.ai. I am going to grab this. We're going to come back over here. I'm gonna put this into contentbuddy.ai. It is going to go through, it is going to analyze this page. Then we're gonna submit this into our agent and it is going to give us some pretty awesome feedback about how I can actually optimize the conversions on this website. Now we could see here that just like that in seconds, this is spitting out how to actually optimize my landing page. So we have an executive summary right here. We have a bunch of priority actions here. So headline optimization, call to action optimization, visual product demonstration, interactive niche validation, and then we have medium impacts over here, features to benefit with translation, enhancing the social proof, page flow optimization, and then lower impact things like changing the psychology, or FAQ enhancement or mobile optimization. And this literally went through and just gave me a step-by-step -step playbook on how to increase the conversions on my website anywhere from 25 to 40% based on similar SaaS landing page optimizations. And literally all I had to do was put in the link here. And this is incredibly powerful and you can build this out and so much more using the Zapier agents that you can now have powered by Gemini 3 and connected to more than 8,000 different apps, which is insane. And again, if you want to try this agent for yourself, go to the pin comment below. You could try it right now for free, literally just by clicking on the template. Now, as a reminder, if you wanted to try this AI agent for yourself, or you wanted to build out other AI agents with Gemini 3 using Zapier, you could go to the pin comment below and get started with them today for free. In addition to that, I put the template down there so you could literally just click on it, sign up for a free Zapier account, and use that AI agent immediately. And again, the main value proposition I really want to drive home with Zapier is it allows you to connect Gemini 3 and Gemini 3 agents to thousands of different apps instead of only a few, like, Google lets you do. Now, the final type of AI agents that you could build out with Gemini 3 are going to be workspace flows because this allows you to automate pretty much anything you want with Gemini, but there are some restraints. So you can simply just describe to this what you want to automate with AI agents and it can go through and it can actually do things. In addition to that, they have tons of different templates set out. So auto sending recurring emails, you could do that. If you want to get notified about messages with keywords, you could do that. If you want to get notified about urgent emails, you can do that. There are tons of things around meetings, around connecting with your team, around tasks and action items, and things around 
have different customer connections. So if we come in here, I wanna walk you through how you actually do this. So the first thing that you could do is you could choose a starter right here. So you could have this happen on a schedule or you could get this to start whenever something like this happens over here. In addition to that, we could come over into actions right here and this shows you all of the different things you can actually get your agent to do. For example, write and reason, you could use Gemini, you could connect it to different tools, it connects to Gmail, to chat, to Sheets, to Drive, to Calendar, Docs, Tasks, Asana, Confluence, Jira, MailChimp, QuickBooks, and to Salesforce. Now, one thing I do want to call out here is obviously these are a good bit of things. There's like five or six apps, but if you use Zapier, you can do everything that you could do inside of Workspace here, but you can connect it to more than 8,000 different apps, which personally just makes it way more powerful in my opinion. In addition to that, if we come over here into my agents, we could click on activity right here. We actually get a log of everything that this has gone through and done, and every time that it's ran, any errors that it's had, and you could actually go through types here so you could see what's complete, what's in progress, what has issues, and this log makes it really easy to be able to actually go through and fix any agents that you have. For example, I have this agent right here, which actually goes through and sends me summaries after all my meetings. So the starter here is that this is based on a meeting. Step two is this goes through and actually decides what it should do. And we could see the prompt that's actually in here. And then it goes through and it extracts information from the meetings, it extracts things from my Gmail, it extracts things from the drive because I actually have a summary of the meeting that goes in there. And then it notifies me in chat about all of these different things. It tells me that it's follow-up for this specific meeting, gives me a list of action items, and gives me all the different notes that were actually there from that meeting. And if I wanted to build out something else, for example, let's say that I wanted to build out something that is a script generator, I could just come in here and say, I want an AI workflow that helps me generate scripts when a sponsor requests for a script for a YouTube video. Ideally, it should be in my style of writing. Now, I'm gonna click on create right here, and this is actually gonna go through and build me out what the agent should look like, and then I just have to go in and specify a few specifics, and we'll have an agent built for us. We can see just like that, this went through and built this out. So this is gonna be triggered when I get an email, and I wanna add in here has the word scripts. It's then going to go ahead, and it is going to ask Gemini to actually create me a script, and what we'll be able to do is pull into this prompt right here any attachments that would be present present inside of this email right here. So we come over here, we could see this right here, we could see the email subject line. If we come into variables, we could click on this, and then we could come over here and look at this. We can actually get all of this information right here, and what I'm gonna wanna do is get the drive links from this, and we could actually insert this in here, and then from here, this is gonna go through, this is going to create a new doc for me, and I can actually prompt it with the way that I want the doc created, or the style that I want, and all of that different stuff. And then when we come over here, this is actually going to notify me inside the chat, and it's going to tell me that it's time for me to review and edit my draft, and then it could send it back to the original sender right here, which is pretty awesome. And again, when we come over here, we could tell it where we want this doc to actually be located, tell it everything that needs to be done. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you a bunch of other AI agents that you could build out using Zapier for free. That sounds interesting. I'll see you over there.